hey guys what's going on the tiktok drone here and in this video i'm gonna do the unboxing of the sandisk 120 gb ssd and then i will show you the actual ryzen performance after installing it so stay tuned and we'll be back yeah that body's a blessing girl i ain't trying to pressure her no, 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 no. she messed with the temperature here is the sandisk ssd i bought it from amazon for rupees 2345 or 34 US dollars. Now let's take this thing out of the bag. Inside the pack, we get the SanDisk safety and warranty guide along with the SSD itself. The disc is quite lightweight and made up of plastic cover. Now let's check the performance we get with this SSG in comparison with the typical hard disk. Before moving on to the tests, I would like to inform you that this is a budget SSG so the performance is not going to be as great as a high end SSG. Here is the read and write test of both my 1TB Toshiba hard disk and 120GB SanDisk SSG. You can clearly see the numbers. Now. Let's see the actual disk read and write speeds. Here I have an ISO file of 4.21 GBs. Let's copy this file from hard disk to SSG. Now let's copy this file from SSG to the hard disk. The speeds are not that good as they are on a high end SSG but still they are much better than a typical hard disk. Now let's move on to our second test that is system boot up time. Here is the time taken by the system to boot up from a hard disk and an SSG. Well, let's move on to our last test that is game loading test. For this test, I am considering GTA 5 as it takes a bit longer to load than usual.
imagine no one gets hurt. Go! Open the door! Here, the difference is significant, but still, the margin is not that big as it would be on a high-end SSD. Finally, I'm putting back off! Go, shut up! Shut the fuck up! Apart from these tests, I have noticed some major speedups in opening of apps like Chrome. Opening a PDF. Or a video. Everything opens up just instantly. So, the final conclusion of the video. Should you consider buying this SSD or any other budget SSDs? Well, in my opinion, if you really want a fast performing disk, then you should go with the high-end SSDs. But, if your budget is limited and you want slightly faster performance, then what you are getting from your hard disk then you can go with these budget friendly ssds this was my video guys if you found this video helpful then please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel this is the tech hope to see you guys in my next video peace